Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. And welcome to 12th Avenue Cuisine. So tonight we're doing a little, something a little bit different. Uh, we are going to cook a steak, uh, a New York steak, uh, but we recently, Lori purchased a Lodge cast iron pan. Uh, we took our RV in for maintenance and our uh, Grizzler, dual sided Grizzler plate and our cast iron skillet we're in the RV, so um, we're gonna see if this can work. We have some concerns around safety since there's no handles uh, to take this in and out of the uh, oven, uh, but Lori was looking for something that's a larger capacity so uh, than the cast iron skillet pan, which is a great pan. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Uh, so tonight I'm wearing welder's gloves uh, because I think they're going to afford a little bit more protection uh, than the uni gloves because the uni gloves were not meant to do what I'm about to do. <laughs> okay. So, and the, uh, this cast iron pan has been in there for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I think. on high. So it is hot. Woo! Okay, <laughs> take it away. Okay, so we have our look at the color of it yeah okay wow there's your tongs right there i so, have uh, oil already on the steak yeah. I, I don't think i'm going to add any additional oil because i'm afraid it might flare up so we're going to just sear it right here so again while we want to get a nice steak out of this we're really trying to prove out the use of this lodge uh, cast iron pan so that's the main goal. Can we handle it safely uh, to cook with? And can we take advantage of the larger capacity? So yeah. uh, that's wow. what we're really looking at. That thing is hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hotter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Lori and I had a little discussion about heating this pan on high, but <laughs> you know, that's our standard. Uh, I like to go low, she likes to go high type stuff. but. Um, Maybe we can cook the whole thing, not even in the oven. <laughs> yeah, well, you might want to uh, grab the other side of it Let if me it see. releases. Not, not quite. Okay, it's not released yet? Okay. okay. Uh, almost. Oh, you want to probably turn the oven down. Uh, it is turned down. Uh, okay. Wow, Bill, you... Ooh! does give a nice char already. Okay, now, do you want that back in now? Yeah, I'm going to put uh, a little... Careful that, because that's going to ignite it. You think so? Yes. Okay. I'm 100% positive we're going to do. Okay, okay, go back in. Let's go back in. All right, let's see if we can do It that. smells fantastic. Doesn't that smell good? It smells fantastic, and there we go with some flames. So I'm going to go down below the uni low. Well, it's just a little bit of the splatter, I think, catching fire. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so uh, I've turned it down below the uni low. We have two videos on uh, that around heat management. Ooh. It's a good thing I didn't add any oil. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to have to figure out how often we want to take it out. And how we can safely, it looks like little fireworks. <laughs> we may be able to um, buy some kind of handle that might work. And we're really interested in this pan, not so much for steaks as for other uh, types of, uh, of uh, cooking, right? Right, yeah. and you know, it's a little bit higher size. So the skillet has very narrow size, so I was always afraid I'd spill something. So we have our... Okay, you want to rotate it? Okay. Well, I was going to check no, the... Uh, okay, check it. Okay. Yeah, we're way low. Okay. Yeah, do you want to flip it and I get it back in? Okay. So definitely we're getting some really nice char. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you step back. Okay. 
And actually, uh, with these welder's gloves, uh, as much as I love my Uni's gloves, I think these are just a little bit thicker. Um, so, uh, I'm not feeling the heat. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's warm, but I'm not... <laughs> Like when we yeah, had Bill it. had had taken the pan out before with the uni glass yeah. in there. <laughs> so I don't know if we can get a temperature reading on this. On on the steak or the. Well, the outside of the cast iron skillet is five twenty four. And what about the the steak? Can you read the no, steak? No, I can't really. Uh, well, you know, it's saying uh, 673, but I'm not sure if that's a true reading. Somebody off. did mention that there's a big temperature difference near the opening and the back. So. You want to flip it again? Okay. I don't know if we flip it. really have to. Yeah, flip it and then um, okay. take the temperature read. Okay. It's only 66 degrees, so it's got a long yeah, way to go. Okay. No, I, I think we need to come in from the side, actually. Oh, okay. So if we get it to about 120, we could tint it and let it kind of stay in the cast iron. Oh, I would take it out of the cast iron, tent it on the cutting board. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think we're going to come out with a good steak, actually. Um, well, it's not going to be overdone <laughs> on the inside. Well, I think we need to get in from the side. Yeah, uh, okay. This coming in through the top, I'm not sure, is uh, the best approach. But I'm not the chef. Lori's the chef. I'm not sure if it really makes that much difference. The middle's the middle. Yeah. But it's kind of fun to try something new. And if we can use this larger capacity uh, pan, uh, that opens up us uh, our ability to do a lot of other okay. uh, items. Uh, well, when we made like the cook. chili prawns, we poured a sauce all over them. And uh, I was afraid that we would spill the sauce all over the inside of the oven. Okay, you want to Put the, uh, try the temperature, or? Yeah. Okay. Very windy here tonight in uh, San Mateo. That's on Fahrenheit, isn't it? It is. Okay. Still pretty low. Yeah. So we didn't flip, right? Let me flip. Wow, nice char, though. <laughs> yeah. And again, what we like about the cast iron skillet pan, and if this pan works out, is you can rotate it, where when we use a dual-sided grizzler plate, we have to move the food around, so. But after all, this is a pizza oven. It's meant to cook pizzas, and it cooks really good pizzas. So uh, we're just trying to stretch some additional value out of it. Well, if we wanted to make like roasted chicken with a lot of juice, we would need something that's a little bit more high-sided. Yeah, that cast iron pan was white hot when we first took it out, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> Jeez. But this is a lodge pan, so they're known for their cast iron? Is that yeah. the... Uh... Yeah. Now, I don't know how many minutes we've been... Uh... Oh, I should have timed it, but I yeah. took my watch off. You could just leave it in there, don't you think? Well, yeah. when we check the temperature, I don't want to uh, overcook. You want to just go down through the middle like you normally would, mm -hmm. and then maybe use I your... Could, I could do this. 
Watch out for the edge of that. Oh. Yeah, go down through the middle. Okay. Straight down. Oh, okay. Okay, we're up in the 90s. Yeah. You didn't go very far though, but. Oh, I thought I went halfway. This is a two inch steak, or maybe it even is thicker. A thick steak. Yeah. Wow, look at that char. <laughs> We well, if you watched our video on our first steak, that was really charred. Oh, yeah, our flaming steak, that's right. We've, we've it was a like lot. a flambe. Yeah, we've learned a lot about cooking steaks. And, uh, and we've done quite a few uh, steaks since then, I think four or five. Or this may be our fifth steak. Yeah. And. Uh, and I don't even know if we need to rotate this steak necessarily. In I here. don't think we need to. I think we yeah. can just let it sit. I mean, we might rotate the pan. You yeah, well, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Okay, I can rotate it. Because there is a difference in the closer to the oven, I mean, the flame. And again, I imagine if we had the flame up, higher heat, shorter cooking time uh, but then we also have the flames coming over into the pan where the grease is so uh, we probably don't want to do that but let me just bump it up just a little bit yeah that's the uni low right uh, yeah See, and once I, once I just raise that up a little bit, we start to get a little bit of flame over. Yeah, but we might need it to... Uh... Well, that steak is charred. <laughs> we don't have to... We oh, don't need it oh, for oh. charring. All right, I'm thinking we're uh, pretty close. Okay. So I'm going to take it out and then try your traditional way of determining the steak. Okay. You know, it feels, oh, right over here it doesn't feel as, it feels more okay, medium rare. Oh, yeah, you can see, see it's yeah, red coming out. That's no good? Well, it means it's pretty raw. And it, Go to the middle of the steak, yeah. You were up to the 107. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's pretty raw in the middle still. Oh. 112, okay. Okay. I think it just needs a little, a little bit more time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, quickly? Maybe I'll turn it over. Yeah, and uh, these gloves are working out really well. Okay, I'm going to go back down just a little bit because we're close. Yeah, I imagine many of you know that heat management is uh, really important when you start to cook items other than pizzas. Um, but it's, it's easy to do. So what do you think? How much longer? Well, I think we, we should let it rest for a good five to ten minutes at least. But in the pan or out oh, of the pan? Oh, out of the pan. All right, but it's when like do you, we would put when on. do you think we should put it up there? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I, I'd rather go under, under okay. than over Okay. is my thought. But, okay. But I'll follow your lead. <laughs> well, I, I think it still is pretty rare because I could see when I poked it, a okay. lot of the blood came out. And normally um, we'd like to get up to 135, is that the temperature? Yeah, well, what, but we can take it out like around 125 and let it just sit there. 
and let it rest. Okay. Well, should we give it a try? All right, we'll t try it one more time. Okay. That is a thick steak, two inch, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I think we could put it out on the cutting board. Well, take the temperature just as you're uh, okay. taking it each time. Let's just get another, uh, you can go in an angle. Can you read the top? 110. Yeah. 118, 111, it's bouncing around. Okay, so we want to take it out and put it, let it rest? Yeah, I'll let it, let me see this way. Oh. Well, that's yeah, okay. okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to stand to my right. Okay. I'm going to move this over here, and you're going to quickly grab it off there and put it on here so I can put the pan back down, okay? Okay. Good deal. All right. I'm going to turn it off. So we're going to let the steak rest. And we'll foil. be back in a few minutes to let you know how it turned out. Okay. Okay, Lori, so how long have we let the uh, steak rest? It's a little bit over five minutes. So oh. just that's a, just about the right time. Okay, so uh, let's see how it turned out. Again, our focus tonight was trying to determine if this Lodge cast iron pan, which is a 12-inch pan, about two and a half inches deep, uh, could work with the Unicota 16 given that we didn't buy the type of cast iron pan with a handle because we really wanted to be able to spin the pan around like we can with the uh, Uni uh, cast iron skillet pan. We love that pan. We would just like a little one that has a little more capacity. So we're trying to see if this one works, but let's see how we did with the steak. Maybe it's a double, uh, a bonus night or something. So <laughs> why don't you go ahead and... Uh, okay, so let the steak rest under foil. Let's see. I think I want to turn it this So definitely, way. that's char. <laughs> yeah. and that is the kind of char uh, you like to see. Yeah. So and uh, if, if you keep track, uh, we're drinking uh, Kirkland Coates du Rhone tonight. Uh, for those of you that know what a Costco is, and uh, we frequent their uh, wine section okay. a lot. Okay, so what is it looking like as you're cutting? Well, okay, the first piece, you can see it's um, kind of medium, maybe medium well. Okay. And it's getting more medium. Okay. We're really interested in the center, right? Yeah. Here. Actually. Oh, I, I was worried that yeah. it might be overcooked all the way through or, I mean, raw. In the middle, but it's not too bad. Not too bad, and we tend to like our uh, beef. On uh, the medium rare, but this rare, is... Yeah, medium rare. Well, this isn't too bad, but no, I actually I was kind of surprised. Actually, I thought maybe it'd be yeah. really rare. And again, maybe we need to get a better uh, meat thermometer. Uh, but yeah. let's taste some of this steak. Okay. And again, is this Costco steak? Yeah. <laughs> All right, a two-inch steak. All right, let's see how we did. Mmm. Here we go again, Bill dropping the steak. Boy, that char is really nice, Lori. Let's see if this is okay, this end. <laughs> Mm. Wow. So for me, that's the kind of char that I like to see on one of my steaks, but... <coughs> I think <coughs> our meat with the thermometer yeah. Was, isn't the best. Yeah, okay. Because I think it's a little bit over than what, <coughs> what we would normally like. <coughs> okay, so uh, why don't we kind of wrap up and uh, summarize what your thoughts on this pan? 
it's okay in a pinch. But maybe we just have to, I think it would be fine for making other things or we want to stir it a little bit more. Um, steak, I'm not so sure. but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, one thing you can see here is um, you can see the amount of, uh, hopefully, the amount of grease that was in there. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get any flare up. Um, once we got to the lower heat, uh, the pan was easy to handle. I really didn't feel any heat through uh, through these gloves. I probably should have put the uni gloves back on to see if I felt the heat through them. But um, well, I don't tomorrow know. you can have a chance. A chance. Oh, right? tomorrow? We're making something tomorrow? Tomorrow we're making corned beef hash. Oh, okay. We'll do that. <laughs> so, uh, so what do you think? Success? Yeah, I think it's good. And I think the steak is very ta tasty, but maybe we need to get a better thermometer. Yeah, because uh, I think it's a little overcooked. A little overcooked, but, um, you know, we can work on that, but it's tasty, and I can assure you we're going to eat all this. So maybe we can start to close. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up, as always. We like, welcome new share, subscribers. and uh, subscribe. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> share, and subscribe. And um, I don't know. Oh, you can turn on the notification bell. That's yeah, amazing. you can turn that on as well. <laughs> uh, and um, so hopefully you enjoy this type of stuff. Again, it was the focus was this Lodge uh, cast iron uh, pan, but we really love the uni. Uh, but I think this is going to work out for us uh, maybe cooking some other things where we want a little bit more capacity in particular where we're making kind of like a soup fish type thing or something uh, with a lot of sauce uh, something yeah. with a lot of sauce but anyway all right well hopefully everyone's doing well thank you again for dropping into the channel if you have any comments or questions please leave them below we always leave, love to hear on how you know, what's happening in your world and what you're doing may be doing with your uni so uh, and we hope you got your vaccine. Yeah, Bill and I uh, both got our second shots. Yep, fully a little, uh, vaccinated. A little now, so. mild reaction, but it was worth every every little chill that I had. <laughs> okay, on that note. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. See you next time. Bye.